thyroglossal cysts are cysts which arise from something called thyroglossal tract. Our thyroid gland actually originates at the base of the tongue region and from there when you when the body is in the embryo stage it descends down into the normal position of the thyroid which is in the front part of the neck, lower part of the neck. So while it is descending it may leave behind small uh, groups of cells in the tract. The tract is called thyroglossal tract and when there are these remnants of the tract cells where later on in life patients may develop small, uh, develop small cysts in that uh, pathway of descent. These are called thyroglossal cysts. So usually they are quite harmless and uh, they may appear as small swelling in the midline or just of the midline of the neck and usually how we differentiate the thyroglossal cyst is this moves with swallowing that is when you move or when you swallow either water or saliva you can actually see the cyst moving and also when a patient pushes the tongue out you can see the uh, thyroglossal cyst moving out. So this uh, is very important for diagnosis and most of the time it is harmless and it's just a cyst and it, you don't need to do anything to that but sometimes because of its uh, developmental association with the upper respiratory tract you can have infections of the thyroglossal cyst when you get a cold. So a, a normal harmless looking cyst may become inflamed when you have a cold and they may actually uh, get secondary infected with bacteria. In that case the cyst may start segregating pus through the and break it break out through the skin on top of that. In such a situation infected cyst need to be treated by antibiotic and if it is again and again getting infected you may need to go for a removal. But usually if it is harmless and if it is just there you don't need to do anything. But very rarely like, like in, if there are 100 thyroglossal cysts you see there may be one person of that you may have small cancer remnant in the thyroglossal cyst. Just like we get a cancer of the thyroid gland you can have small cancers developing in the thyroglossal cyst. When do you suspect this? You suspect this when the thyroglossal cyst has a not just a cystic appearance. Cyst means a sack of the fluid. There will be a skin covering for the cyst and there will be fluid inside that. If it is just a simple cyst this is what you will see. But if there is a solid component within the cyst and uh, if it is not looking that great, if there are small calcium deposits in that solid component, there may be a small possibility that the cyst has a cancer stage. In such situation also you need to know. Normally asymptomatic thyroglossal cyst without any without troubling anything, uh, if it is just not uh, just there without troubling the patient, you don't need to get it removed. Only if it is regu regularly getting infected or if it has a solid component in it, you may think of getting it removed.